This game villain's self-saving system. Chapter 12. Audio source: Wushar World Audiobook.com. Chapter 12. All the King Jing Peak disciples were suddenly in an uproar. The disciples of other divisions were not as bad because they weren't familiar with King Jing Peak's situation. They still thought the person who would be sent out must be Shen Qing Chu's eldest disciple. Only with a minimum of 30 years of cultivation would a person be able to confront this demon elder who at a glance could be seen to have at least several hundred years on him. Only, the strange thing was that they had never heard of this person. How could King Jing Peak disciples not know what Liuo Bing's cultivation was? Ming Fan's face was white as he stuttered, Chazun. Sending out this kid. Sending out junior brother Luo onto the stage, perhaps it's not too suitable. Quote. Although he was anxious and didn't want to go on stage, would gladly let Luo Bing go up and get abused, he still cared about their own division's honor. Ning Yingying's even more anxious tears came out and she shamelessly hugged Luo Bing's arm while stamping her foot and shouting, Don't want, don't want, don't want. Luo Bing didn't have much combat experience. That demon elder was covered with thorns all over his body and his sledgehammer must have been at least several hundred jin one. It would be strange if he wasn't killed. Do you all think I want him to go on stage? I'm also being helplessly forced. Shen Qing raised his eyebrows and snapped, I said to let him go up so he should go up. Are you unsatisfied with this master's judgment? Ying Er, uh, let him go. Met with Shifu's scowling face, Ning Ying Ying knew that nothing could be done. Luo Bing er patted her comfortingly even though his face was shock white. He said firmly, Apprentice sister, don't be worried. I won't be of any serious use but since Shazun has assigned me to go out I will definitely use all my strength. Even if my life is forfeit, I won't lose our division's face. Ning Yingying rubbed away her tears and let go of Luo Bing's arm. She couldn't bear seeing her sweetheart get hit by others and in a few footsteps, she had run away. Shen Qing Chu was overjoyed. Well run. If Ning Yingying ran then the trouble that she caused after this scene would also be gone. What a good darling child you are, so sensible. Though the teenager who stood out from the crowd of people seemed like a clear and upright god. A good seedling with a good foundation, it was also apparent at first sight he was a young disciple with shallow cultivation. In contrast, the demon sex elder had a sledgehammer and a build with a tiger's back and a bear's waist. No matter where he stood, when compared with Luo Bing's still developing body, there was a sense of oppression. Black wisps of demonic energy exuded from all over the elder's body. Everybody hesitated and some speculated that perhaps he had hidden his strength and was only waiting for the fight to begin. Everyone had no words to say. What hidden strength? He really couldn't beat him. How was this a competent? He was being completely beaten by the other party. Ever since Luo Bing began the trial, he didn't have any opportunity to make a move. That demon elder had matchless strength and a swing of his sledgehammer sent out a shockwave. Even though Luo Bing persisted in advancing and trying to find a chance to attack, the sledgehammer continued to land on his body from time to time. Not only was the Kangkiong mountain sect side dumbstruck, the demon side was also speechless. This was too tragic. Someone spoke in a small voice. Isn't this a sure loss? What is there to compete? Big Hammer, or no, Elder Qian Chui laughed loud and long towards the sky, his voice audible through the entire area. You've said it right. This little doll had better admit defeat soon and get off the stage, this old man can still leave you a life. Shen Qing Chu quietly said, he will win. Nonsense. Putting the protagonist in a rough spot like this, of course he would win. Only, it would be a very difficult win. His voice was neither high nor low. 
However, it was just enough to carry into the center stage where the competin was. Luo Binga had suffered a direct frontal hit and suppressed a few mouthfuls of blood in his chest when such confident words traveled to his ears. Somehow, he was able to swallow down the blood. We'll win. Right. Did Shizun really believe he would win, and so pass the opportunity to participate in this trial to him? The demons all laughed loudly and booed. They clamored for him to quickly admit defeat. However, Luo Binga didn't accede to their wishes. He was hit several times in succession but instead calmed down and turned a deaf ear to the jeers of the outside world. His footsteps became increasingly lighter. Elder Tian Chui's giant sledgehammer came down nine times and nine times was not able to even hit his side. The only spots on Elder Qian Chui that weren't wrapped in poisonous spikes were his face and his fists. This wasn't any good news. This meant that even though these two spots weren't protected by poisonous spikes, he could still go home without losing out. But at the same time, it was very possibly the only breakthrough point. Luo Binger breathed slowly and carefully concentrated. Shizun chose him to go on stage. While it looked like it was to make things difficult for him, if looking on flip side, losing this trial meant that not only Luo Binga would lose face, he would bring along the entire sect and the entire human realm, dragging in even the Shen Xing Chu who chose him to go on stage. Shizun must be very convinced that he would win to choose him to go on stage and compete. In student Luo Binger's rich brain, he successfully started a system that seemed to fill the sky with mist. There had never been anyone who believed in him like this. Even if it's only for the sake of this trust in him, he must win a victory for everyone to see. That sledgehammer came whistling down once again. Luo Binger's pupils shrank. He circulated power in his palm and it condensed into a technique. Everyone's attention was grabbed by this persistent teenager. Though Luo Binger didn't have an opening to act, he didn't give up searching for an opportunity to fight back and didn't admit defeat. And at this moment, the time for the counter-attack had come, the tail end of opportunity was firmly and accurately captured in Luo Binger's hands. After persisting for half an hour, the third trial finally had a result. Other than Shen Ching Chu, no one had expected this result. An elder Tian Chui with several hundred years of cultivation and was covered in poisonous thorns was actually defeated by a 15-year-old boy. As expected, Lu Mingyan and Sha Huling were attracted to Luo Binger. Four beautiful eyes stared in the direction of Luo Binger's figure, unwilling to withdraw their gazes gained Lu Mingyan and Sha Huling's attention. Fame during Kang Keong Mountain sex invasion by the demons. Protagonist's coolness level plus 500. Shen Ching Chu was very angry. For what? It was 1000 for a deduction and only 500 for an addition. What a black-hearted system, it shouldn't have such a serious double standard. However, it's not an issue. Right now everyone's heart thought about the same thing. Luo Binger was really a youth to be regarded with respect. Shen Ching Chu was really unfathomable. Sha Huling held back for a long while before finally squeezing out. The Central Plains people of the human realm have talents as expected, for such a young hero to come out. Linga really admires, Shen Ching Chu said. Well said, well said. Since the competent has a result, may Miss withdraw her family. Forgive Kang Keong Mountain Sect for being unable to receive guests. As you can see we're in a muddle. The meaning underneath. There wasn't any meaning underneath, he was directly and clearly ordering the guests to leave. Sha Huling was angry but had nowhere to vent. Her fingers twisted in the red veil on her body, and she suddenly exploded. Her hand reached out and suddenly slapped Elder Tian Chui's face quickly and viciously. She angrily shouted, 
to lose to such a young disciple under Elder Shen in a fight and in such an ugly manner, you've lost face for all demons. Elder Qian Chui was also pitiful. The demon realm was a hierarchy and Sha Huling from birth was a noble saint. Even after being hit, he was submissive and didn't dare resist. He only dared to say, unsatisfied. This one is incompetent, asking the saint to punish. Shen Ching Chu wasn't able to watch any longer. WashaWorldAudio.com Without being loud or quiet, he said. Miss Sha, if you want to discipline your followers, please move to another location. Qiongding Peak is not a place for nobility to establish their supremacy. Sha Huling shed her anger with a hit and finally vented some foul words. Once she turned around, her face was full of smiles again as she said. Elder Shen's words are right. Ling Er only saw your division's talented young gentleman and seeing the waste under her own command, her heart was disappointed and lost control for a moment. Elder Shen, please don't laugh. She changed her face again towards Elder Qian Chui, as cold as ice and Elder Dubai fighting and losing to Elder Shen is a matter of course. For you to also lose a trial, you don't need me to say. You can see to yourself. What? You can see to yourself, meant. Of course Qian Chui was clear about. Half his heart went cold on the spot. He originally felt that Shen Ching Chu showing up on Qiongding Peak was like a big laughable dolly, the disciples were low in cultivation, and he wanted easy pickings. Only then did he believe the saint's invitation. Only, he didn't think that he would take a great fall here and that even his life was not guaranteed. In the blink of an eye, he saw Luo Binger surrounded by people, his well-being inquired about by others. Malicious intentions arose. Tian Chui did not dare make a move on Shen Ching Chu, the little dolly who had harmed him so tragically. He wanted to drag him with him to die as his funeral bed. Shen Ching Chu paid attention to the demon's every action and emotion. Tian Chui's eyes flashing with evil light was not missed, of course. But the demons were really an unrestrained race. Once they decided to act, they acted. There wasn't even any buffer time. Only in the previous second did he have this intention, yet in the next second he'd raised up his sledgehammer and charged forward. Elder Tian Chui's build was large and he approached quickly, just like a mountain of metal flying over. Luo Binger's hands were not light and quick. He was slow and his eyes watched as he was going to be smashed. But he heard Shen Ching Chu scoff coldly, suddenly appearing before him, his paper fan hitting Elder Tian Chui behind the knees. Elder Tian Chui knelt on the spot. He really knelt. His whole body crashed on the ground, unconscious. That big hammer was also easily picked up by Shen Ching Chu and held in his hand for a moment. It truly had some weight to it. But for someone with such an elegant temperament and appearance to hold such a giant hammer wasn't very beautiful. Shen Ching Chu immediately threw it far away and said, Losing the competition and you want to kill? My division's disciple isn't for you to bully. These righteous and awe-inspiring words didn't just make the demon speechless. In his heart, even Shen Ching Chu's own old face turned dark red. Please, you sent up your own disciple for others to abuse all right. Luo Binga saw the blue clothed back blocking in front of him and even forgot to thank Shizun. He only knew that Shizun saved him once again. Shizun was always like this. He appeared to be harsh towards him, but always in the most critical moment would block in front of him. Shen Ching Chu turned his head around and glanced at him. Nothing wrong? Quote, he should engender some good feelings. Luo Binger slowly said, This disciple is all right. Many thanks to Shazun for saving me. This child was so silly and sweet that Shen Ching Chu was a little embarrassed. 
Shen Ching Chu's old face almost turned red and he quickly turned around and switched to a lofty and cold expression towards Sha Huling. Miss Sha, you should discipline well your own followers. If you can't afford defeat, then why did you have to set three trials? Sha Huling didn't expect there would be a scene like what had just occurred and felt awkward. She really wanted to say some words for the situation but who knew that just at that moment, things changed again. The elder Tian Chui who was lying dead and unmoving on the ground suddenly jumped up and rushed towards Luo Bing again. Dot dot. End chapter 12. One Jin. Unit of measurement for weight. One Jin 0.5 kilograms 1.1023 pound end chapter.